Welcome back to the virtual hanger. Today I'm going to show you how to make this super cute laser cut ornament. Uh, this project is super easy and turns out so cute. So let's get started. Your kit will include three laser cut pieces of wood, one three inch by three inch square of acetate, one little bag of seasonal glitter. Yours might look a little different than this one one about 12 inch length of ribbon, and some wood glue. So to make this project, what we're really gonna do is take this clear piece of acetate and make a sandwich out of these pieces of wood. Um, the one with the loop is gonna go in the center, and then the one with this line on the front um, is gonna go towards the top. So we are gonna start by um, taking the top piece with the line on it and measuring kind of just approximating uh, on a picture. You could do a drawing, you could do some art, doesn't matter. Um, I just kind of want to get, you know, the good parts of this picture of my sons here um, with that circle from the top part of the snow globe. And then I'm just going to cut um, a little border around the circle I drew because you want it to be a little bit wider. Um, you want the top piece of the sandwich to fully cover the cut edge of your circle because you're probably not going to cut a perfect circle. I know I can't. So you don't want to see that rough edge. Uh, so once you've got your picture cut out, we're just going to take a little wood glue and smear it on all over the back of the uh, big piece of wood there and then center our picture just dead center. You can eyeball it. It's not that deep. And just uh, get that nice and flat on the wood glue overnight. Um, take a paper towel and wipe off the excess. It's gonna be a lot easier to clean when it's wet. And just put a book on top of that uh, overnight. You can see here, it covers up the whole, uh, all the edges. Just put a book on it, let it dry overnight. While that piece is drying, we're gonna take our acetate and cut it down to size. The acetate should fully cover that circle, the opening of the front piece here um, with just a little bit of a border, about eh, half a centimeter or so. Uh, to cover up the uh, circle. So we just need to cut the corners off of this square and kind of make it round. Um, don't think about trying to cut out a circle. Think of it as rounding the corners. Otherwise, you'll probably cut it a little bit too small. Uh, the wood glue is going to need something to grip onto, so you just don't want to cut away too much, only the extra. So see, that covers up the circle pretty well there. Just clear away some of the trash. Uh, and then we are going to take our wood glue again. Um, this time I think I will use a popsicle stick to kind of frost this instead of using my finger. Um, we're going to not put it on the acetate, but put it on the wood glue. Just go all the way around the ring of the um, front part of our snow globe. Make sure that you're doing it on the wrong side of that piece, which doesn't have the line on the front. Um, and then we're just going to gently place our acetate, try and get it as flat as you can um, all the way around and kind of just lightly tap the glue into it. Again, you want to uh, wipe away any excess glue here uh, while the glue is still wet because it's kind of a pain to get off when it sits dry. And then um, just frost a little bit more glue on the wrong side of this front piece. Now, I don't show it in the video, but the middle piece well, all of the pieces, the bases are not exactly symmetrical. So just make sure um, your piece looks like mine with that kind of glowy effect. That's the front side of the middle piece. The back side should be a little cleaner um, in terms of char. And then if you do that, that will make sure that your center bases there are lining up. And then we will just take a couple of clothespins and secure it all the way around. Wood glue dries best when it has a little bit of pressure applied so that it can really absorb into the wood. Um, so, but if you don't have clothespins, you can just, again, put it under a book, let it dry overnight. The clothespins are just kind of nice because then you get an eye on making sure all the pieces are perfectly lined up. Um, but put your lid on your wood glue because we'll need it again tomorrow and then let those two pieces dry overnight. All right, once we're back here tomorrow, you can see that piece of acetate is nice and tight between those two pieces. We are gonna take those two pieces we glued together and put the picture on the back. But first we need to fill the glitter in to our snow globe. I almost definitely put way too much glitter in this one. You shouldn't need all the glitter I give you. Um, 
use your best judgment. Of course, it's up to you. You can put as much glitter as you like, but if you put too much glitter, it can be a little bit hard to uh, see the picture when the ornament is hanging. So just maybe go a little bit easier than I did. Once you get some wood glue smeared on the front part of your picture piece, you slap that face down on the ornament and close pin it. Whatever you do, do not flip or shake it at this point or all the glitter will stick into the glue. Let that dry overnight and then anytime we are open, you are more than welcome to come into the hangar and I can show you how to use the laser yourself and customize your ornament. Of course, you're always welcome to just use like a Sharpie or paint it or whatever um, and write your name. But that is all there is to it. Uh, please, please contact us on social media. If you have any questions, tag us in your posts. I would love to see what you make. And I will see you next time.